Well, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Five Things You Might Not Know. This, as always, is the 101. So that is right, get ready once again for another dose of things you might not know, as here we go with episode number 11. First up today, something you might not know about what's under Superstar tyres. Now that's not quite as weird as that might have sounded, however, something that you might not know is that if you remove some Superstar's tyres completely, you get to see things you wouldn't normally get to see. Now this could be things like hidden tattoos, for example, for Bray Wyatt, Goldust, or even Shawn Michaels, as well as some hidden attire parts of source that aren't normally selectable. This includes shorter versions of existing tights for the likes of Dolph Ziggler, among others. Now, as you guys know, in this series, it features mainly positive things that you guys can find useful. But slightly changing gears for this one, because up next, in thing number two today, we have got, unfortunately, a bit of a negative one. Now, as you might know, at one point in the game, we could zoom out completely of the arena and the creating arena mode, which made for some cool things like seeing the Nevada Desert in the classic WrestleMania arena, as well as zooming into the skyboxes. However, what you might not know is that following the 1.05 patch, this unfortunately is no longer possible, with there now being limits on how far out you can actually zoom. Now this basically means there is now restrictions on what you can actually see, which ultimately means no more classic WrestleMania easter egg, and no going into the skyboxes where a picture of this man once existed. Now, slightly sticking to that for the next one, because thing number three today features none other than CM Punk. Now, as we covered way back in the series, at one point, many images of CM Punk were visible in the game in the slow boxes that could be seen with the then unrestricted camera angle. Ultimately, the CM Punk images would eventually get removed from the game, although that wasn't actually the only CM Punk reference in it. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the following audio has been patched out recently, as unfortunately I wasn't able to replicate it for this video, but at some point there was actually some CM Punk audio in the game, which was as follows. And here's a guy who believes he's the best in the world at what he does. You know, I'm willing to bet CM Punk disagrees with that statement, but if that's how Jericho feels, then good for him. He's confident. I like it. So, CM Punk might be gone from this series currently, although interesting to see that references of CM Punk did exist in 2K17 at some point, and if those two things weren't enough, there is still a third reference of sorts that does still exist. So, this one comes on the back of a Paul Heyman t-shirt, which references the voice of the voiceless, which of course is in relation to CM Punk. Thing number four today is definitely a small one, but still a pretty interesting one, because despite not officially being in the series since WWE 13, the classic 99 SmackDown Arena does make an appearance in 2K17. So this classic SmackDown Arena can be seen as part of the Clash of Champions intro in this year's Creator Show Mode. Now while this arena is shown instead of a classic WCW arena, I'm not entirely sure, and it's also debatable as to whether this picture you can see is actually an in-game screenshot or not, but either way, pretty interesting. And once again, another thing about 2K17 that you simply might not know. Up next, staff thing number five, and closing out today's episode, we have got some hidden moves of sorts, and more specifically, some hidden power bombs. Now, the main one we're featuring today is the much requested second rope sit down power bomb. Now, as you guys know, I have featured this previously on the channel, mainly in universe mode. And in those videos, there was always a bunch of questions asking how this was done. So, if you are still wondering, then here's what to do. Now, in order to get the second rope sit down power bomb, you simply have to hit the major reversal on the top rope Harakurana. Now, keep it in mind, this is one of the best power bombs in this year's game. It's definitely a shame this one can't be manually selected. 
but at the very least it does at least make an appearance as a hidden mover source as a pretty badass reversal. So yeah, definitely a top notch move and more specifically a top notch powerbomb. And if you're like me and are a fan of the powerbomb, then good news, as there is also even more of these in the game, again as reversals, there is this one, and on this one, no doubt some pretty nice stuff. And once again, another episode completed with the series total now being 55. As always, let me know in the comments if any of today's feature 5 things were new for you. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, which hopefully you have, then as always, a like rating would be awesome to see. So yeah, that is it for this one. But stay tuned for the next episode of the series coming very, very soon. And with that said, until next time, this has been 101. And I will see you all on the next one.